welcome back. So today I'm going to recreate this voluptuous hairstyle that I was rocking on my very first video. I hope you all enjoy. The curling wand that I was using is actually for my Bellamy 6-in-1 Complete Curler Set. The particular wand that I am using in this video is the Pearl Wand within the Bellamy 6-in-1 Curler Set. And I'll go ahead and list a coupon code below in the description bar if you are interested. I hope you all enjoy this tutorial. So if you like to see how I created this look, then please keep watching. Let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to start by using my 6-in-1 Complete Curling Set from Bellamy. <laughs> Love it. That's the one I'll be using today. I'm going to brush my hair and just part my hair from the bottom to the top. Now I'm going to go ahead and split that section into pieces. Then when I bring it to the front, I'm going to be splitting that into sections again. And I like to use smaller pieces of my hair just because that gives me smaller curls and it allows me to achieve this look better. I am winding my hair on the wand from top all the way to the bottom. I like to hold the wand with my left hand and I like to face it down away from my face because the curls are not going towards my face, they are going to be going away from my face. And I don't switch it up at any part of the tutorial, I make sure that every single curl is away from my face. Now you are going to see me brush each strand <laughs> before I curl it. It's really up to you and it's your preference if you choose to brush each strand, but I just feel like it causes less tangles and it's easier to wind on the wand when it's smooth. Now for those who aren't used to using wands and you're a beginner, don't worry, this set does come with gloves and if you do use a wand from any other brand like Hot Tools or anything like that, make sure you get gloves because this curling wand, I mean all wands, they get pretty hot. This one specifically gets like 400 and something degrees so just be very careful while using it. Me personally, I've been using wands for a while so I don't use, I don't choose to use any gloves but I have had my share of burns so if you're a beginner, highly suggest using some gloves. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my wand and I'm going to put it in the back of my head then wind my hair. So this is my preference, you can do it any other way you choose to but this is the way I like to do it. I'm doing the exact same thing on the other side and again I am just going to go in sections of my hair starting from the bottom all the way to the top. If you notice, I don't go too close to my scalp. That is okay because you want the curls to be at the end. Now here I grab all my curls and I spot out any ones that I've possibly missed, which yes, the sucker tried running away from me. <laughs> and then all I do is I check and make sure that there's no other straight strings and I go ahead and curl it up. And I let the curl sit for about 7 to 10 seconds. It kind of depends on how thick of a strand you're curling. The thicker the strand, the longer you should wait. But I, my preference is about 7 to 10 seconds. Then I go ahead and check to see if there are any um, straight strands on the other side. Here I'm going to go ahead and part my hair. Um, I like to part my hair on the side, but if you like to part it in the middle, it really doesn't change up the process. After you're done sectioning your hair, then you can go ahead and begin curling the top portion of your hair. Now my hair is very thick, so keep that in mind as you're watching me curl my hair in sections. If you have thinner hair and your hair is shorter than mine, then the time of you curling your hair isn't going to be as long as it takes me. It takes me about 35 minutes to do my entire head. So here you're going to go ahead and see me grab a clip and I'm just going to move all of the straight strands away from my face so that it doesn't get mixed up with any of the areas that I'm curling. If you see me twisting any pieces of my hair, it's just to prevent any flyaways and then later finding any straight strands within my curls. Yay, we're finally done with half of our head. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm simply grabbing sections, clipping all of the extra hair that I don't want in my face. Then I'll be sectioning them off in smaller pieces and brushing, then curling. You can choose to leave your hair like this or me personally, I like big hair so I'm running my fingers through the curls, separating them, making sure they are as big and voluptuous as possible. 
And as you can tell, this side is good, this side not so much. <laughs> I'm doing the exact same thing on the other side, just running my fingers through the curls. Please keep in mind that I have no hair products in my hair, nor do I have hairspray. So that's why my fingers are going through the curls so quickly, as well as me brushing every strand. <laughs> Here, I'm going to go ahead and use my hairspray, and the brand is in Sexy Hair. It's made with arrogant oil, so it's personally my favorite. It's not sticky, it doesn't make my hair rough, and it holds really well. So here I'm going to go in with a teasing comb, and I'm just simply teasing all of the areas that I want um, my hair to be bigger. I like to go in little sections. I think I only do like three rows here. I usually only do two to three rows because I don't want my hair to be too poofy. And if you notice, after teasing, I just flip my hair to the other side because I want the hairspray to dry. And when I, play, when I flip it over, it's going to cause more volume to the hair. All right, now it's one of my biggest pet peeves when the top portion of a hair is super big and volumized and then the bottom is like very flat. So what I do is I like to hairspray the bottom and I like to get my teasing comb and just kind of tease the bottom just a little bit just to make it as volumized as the top so that it blends very well. After I kind of scrunch it up just to make sure that all the curls are going to hold just giving it some extra volume. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side just giving it a few sprays, teasing, then flipping. Spray, tease, flip. <laughs> Then I'm going to do the exact same thing in the back of my hair. Now keep in mind, I do like big hair. So if you're not a big hair fan, then I wouldn't even tease. I'd just run my fingers through the hair, maybe scrunch it a few times, and get in, give it an overall spray. And our look is officially complete. This is how I achieve my voluptuous curly hair. Hope you all enjoyed. Well, that about sums it up, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial with all of my tips and tricks, and please feel free to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are looking forward to seeing any future tutorials. Bye, guys! <laughs>